everyone and welcome. It's Margaret with Creative Stamping with Margaret. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and today I'm sharing one of the cards from this month's card class. The month is April 2023 and the card class featured the bundle Sweet Citrus and I just love that stamp set. There's so many things uh, that you can do with it. There's a lot of variation. And so we, in the class, we created four different cards. And you'll be able to find the videos. There are, there's a video for each of the four cards uh, on uh, my YouTube channel. So be sure to look for those and check them out because all of the cards, in my opinion, of course, are gorgeous and the neat thing about this sweet cent citrus uh, bundle is it has a hybrid embossing folder and with that you can emboss and cut at the same time uh, so they come together as a set now this bundle was introduced in the mini catalog so and it was introduced as a bundle the good news is the stamp set and the dies are carrying over into the annual catalog, which launches on May 2nd, but they will not be offered at a as a bundle. So if you want to order them and save 10%, I highly encourage you to do that before uh, May 2nd. May 2nd is when the new catalog launches. So the last day that you could order these at a bundled price and save 10% is on May 1st. But, you know, even if you aren't able to buy it now and have to, to wait and pay a little bit more, it's worth it because there are so many uh, variations using this stamp set. Um, and I hope that you'll check out the videos, the other videos to, to see that. And today's card is a thank you card and it says thanks a bunch. So what I've done, and this is probably the one of the simpler cards that we did in the class. Simple in, in that there's not a lot of stamping, but there is a lot of cutting using the uh, hybrid embossing folder. But we cut fruit, so we've got a bunch of different citrus fruits. We've got lemons, we've got limes, we've got oranges. And I did not stamp them. You could stamp and cut them. But on this, I really just wanted to showcase how to use the hybrid embossing folder. And then we use the Thanks a Bunch uh, stamp, and that is from the Sweet um, Citrus stamp set. And we just fussy cut it. And then we've got rhinestones. These are the basic rhinestone jewels that we have colored using um, the um, Starry Sky uh, stamping blends. And then for the inside, we use that same fruit, uh, a couple of those fruit pieces. So let's get started on the card. Oh, and of course, we use that embossing folder on the flap of our envelope. So the materials um, that I'm using, I'll be going over these. You do not need to write dimensions down or even the materials. In the description of my video, I always put the materials used as well as the dimensions. So um, that's just something for you to to know so sit back enjoy watch the video or stop the video look at the materials get get them prepared and craft along with me so for our base we're using the starry sky and then we have a piece of the granny apple green cardstock we have Pumpkin Pie cardstock, Daffodil Delight, and then for the background, now as you see, these are two different backgrounds, but they're from the same designer series paper, and that's the Hue, uh, hue of Happiness 
uh, designer series paper that will be discontinued uh, at the end of this month. Uh, it will not be in the new catalog, but there are a lot of other designer series paper that have sort of this watercolor look, or you could pick one with um, other colors in it that you want to use. Um, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention. And then of course we have our basic white piece for the interior and our envelope. You will need the uh, hybrid embossing folder along with the fruit panel uh, die to cut those dies. You will need, in addition to the Thanks a Bunch stamp, you will also need the leaf stamp and you'll need the leaf die. There's two dies in the set and we have two sets of leaves so you'll need both of those because you want to stamp and cut those and we're using Parakeet Party and Starry Sky and I have a small just a little scrap piece of Parakeet Party um, that I've used for the leaves And of course, there is a little panel of the basic white for our sentiment. But before we do the stamping, let's do some cutting. So the first thing we want to do is let's take our embossing folder and let's texture emboss the designer series paper. And so I'm just placing this in the embossing folder. And of course I'm using my cut and emboss machine. And because this is a thick uh, embossing folder, I need panel four. And then just panel one. So let's put this onto the machine and let's just crank this through. Whoops, I've got that twisted. Let me get that straight there. I tell you, texture embossing in the designer series paper really makes a big difference on a lot of different cards. Um, so that's something for you to just keep in mind in the future when you are looking at your cards and you're going, what will give it that little extra pizzazz? And I actually had that off to the edge, but that's okay. So we have that then we have all the different fruit that we're going to use the die with so you'll want to take your embossing folder and the side that has the stamping up emblem and the little line which helps keep your paper aligned that's the side where we place the dies and they sort of lock in place and you want to make sure when you place these in that your die the cutting edge is facing up then we're just going to take our panel of daffodil delight and look at that i just twisted that and we're going to lay this in here and we're going to crank this through our embossing folder. And again, in, it's the same, or our embossing machine. And it's the same sandwich that we used for the embossing. It's just plate one and plate three. And so to save time, I have pre-cut all of these other uh, colors before 
uh, I started the video because it does take a little bit of time to cut all of those. So let me set this to the side. Let's pull back in the card materials. So after we cut all of them, this is what you will have. You will have your panel with your lemons. You'll have a panel with your oranges and a panel with your limes. Now, I do want to point out, as you see, sometimes it, my cutting machine has, I did not put that in there at an angle, which I typically do, and it wanted to grab onto that. But those, they just sort of bend. I can take my paper snips, but actually they have pretty, pretty well um, cut through. Let me just snip this off, though, because it did cut in there and make a good indent. It just did not go completely through. So now we have our limes, oranges, and lemons. Now these three pieces, be sure to save those. You can use them on another card. You could stamp, take the stamp set that coordinates with this stamp and then lay this over. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to discard these because they still are very useful. So now I'm going to pull in my card base, which is my starry sky. We'll take our bone folder and we're going to burnish that edge. And then I'm going to use my liquid adhesive. When something is heavily embossed, such as this, where you have a lot of variation, I like to use the liquid adhesive because it gets into some of those crevices and it'll help uh, so that it adheres a little bit better. Plus, it just gives me a little bit more play on the... Um, as I'm laying it down if I don't like the way that I have it laying on there. There, that looks good. And then next, the next step is to start la uh, laying our fruit. Now you will want to go ahead and stamp your leaves and I just stamped the par uh, parakeet party on the parakeet party uh, with the ink. You know, so I just did tone on tone. And then I used the die to die cut them. So pull your leaves, have those ready. And now it's just time to play. Just sort of play around with how you would like to lay the fruit. You may not want to, as a matter of fact, you won't use all the fruit. I know I didn't. I had some fruit left over. And you may want to use less fruit. That's what's fun. You just sort of play around with it. My goal is just to give you some ideas and get your creative juices going. So let's start with this one. Then I'm going to add, I'm going to sort of replicate what I did on my sample card. Let's tuck a leaf in there. While that's still wet, then that'll go right there. We'll take this portion. I'm 
just going to cover that whole entire leaf. Just have the one poking out. Then let's take the half orange and place it over here. And under that, I'm going to lift this edge while it's still wet and put the lemon, little lemon slice and the set of leaves under it. So there, we have done that. And then, as you see on this, I used two pieces. I used the two pieces on the inside, and I just put them at an angle at the top. And we have these three pieces, which I'm going to save to use on another card. Let's go ahead and add the center piece, and then we'll move on to the little bit of stamping. Other than the leaves and the sentiment, that is it for stamping. I love this starry sky color. I just, ink color. I think that is such a pretty ink color and paper color. So just take your paper snips and we're just going to cut around, fussy cut around this sentiment. I'm mainly moving the paper, not so much the scissors. there. See how quickly that takes that we're able to do that. That's an easy piece to fussy cut so bring in your stamp and dimensionals and we're going to put a couple dimensionals on the back of this and add this to our to our card front. And then I used the Starry Sky Metallic Woven Ribbon. I had a little bit of it. Of course, always when we get toward the end of a catalog, a lot of these materials uh, are no longer available. But we still have them in our stash, so we need to use them. So be sure to use use them up and if you don't have it just look for what you have that will coordinate with it and if you have the stamping blend you can always take a piece of white ribbon and color it with the stampin blends to get the color you want 
that's what it, we did with our rhinestones which I had the rhinestones and I must have misplaced up oh, here they are I buried them under some cards so see I have colored them and basically all you do is I like to take the brush end and I just lightly brush over it just touch that to it and then it dries within just a matter of seconds we're just going to place some of these rhinestones in a few different areas along the card just to add a little bling we'll put one down at the bottom as well a couple let's put one up up here and here so we have our triangles that's a good thing to always keep in mind when you're trying to lay uh, items out this is a triangle that's a triangle here is another triangle it just uh, it's a good way to balance things out but I hope you've enjoyed watching the assembly of our thanks a bunch card and be sure to look at that uh, sweet citrus bundle you may want to add this bundle to your um, stamp collection because there are a lot of variations on it as I said at the beginning of this video be sure to look at the uh, look for the other videos in this series uh, that features the sweet citrus bundle and just an FYI when you go to emboss your um, envelope flap you will need to turn it sideways put it sideways in and run it through your machine as such that's the only way that it will fit through but this is Margaret Knight with Creative Stamping with Margaret. Thanks for joining me. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate all positive comments. So um, leave me a thumbs up or a comment. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day.